Craig Herman was hoping to escape the gray skies and head for the sun, but instead he spent weeks trying to get a refund from WestJet after the airline changed his flight itinerary. And now with the change, it uh, just threw things right out of the back. On October 4th, the Castlegar resident and his wife booked a WestJet vacation to Veradera, Cuba, departing Kelowna December 26 and returning January 3rd. But weeks later, Craig says, on October 27th, WestJet sent him an email stating a change in his itinerary. The flight was rescheduled to depart on December 24th on a red-eye flight, returning January 3rd with a two-day stopover in Calgary. It would also mean missing Christmas Day with family. The plan was to do Christmas Eve and Christmas Day with them in Kelowna, and we were leaving 6 in the morning on the 26th, so it worked out well. Craig says he was instructed to phone a WestJet customer service agent to confirm the itinerary change. Problem was, Craig says, he couldn't get through to an agent. Yeah, we waited on the phone for over three and a half hours for one day. Uh, still no luck. And uh, so we thought, well, let's, let's apply for a refund. But filling out the WestJet Vacations refund form would prove to be just as challenging. We were never contacted. Craig isn't alone. On social media sites, hundreds of frustrated WestJet customers have shared similar stories about unexpected itinerary changes and the fact they can't reach a WestJet agent. Many describe being on the phone for hours, some waiting weeks and left with no answers. When Consumer Matters reached out to WestJet asking about call wait times and itinerary changes, we were told, unfortunately, we are currently experiencing very high volumes for our phone, email and social media support channels, but our teams are working diligently to assist every guest as quickly as possible. But some aviation experts say the itinerary changes and flight cancellations some travelers are experiencing are likely a reflection of airlines not forecasting demand accurately. This is not a flight cancellation because of the pandemic directly. Cancellation because the airlines decided to throw too much capacity in there and they have to cancel it. Um, so this is, this is really driven by the airlines themselves. Meantime, once Consumer Matters reached out to WestJet on Craig Herman's behalf, he got a phone call from WestJet and a full refund of over $5,200. It's unfortunate that we'd have to use this process in getting their attention, but, um, uh, but due to consumer matters and that, we got the issue resolved within 24 hours, which is fantastic. 